Ages. Good evening, and welcome to Goldeneye, the making of the new James Bond. My name is Nit. Barnett. Now, while a lot of you may know me as Mr. Nice Guy, the boy next door presenter, I can assure you tonight that that is only half the story. Because 007 and I share a lot of personal qualities. Oh. <laughs> Bit rich in there. Where's the pokies? Since author Anne Fleming created his character in the 50s, James Bond has become a global phenomenon. In fact, over half the world's population at some time or another has seen a Bond movie. And it's easy to see why, isn't it? Exotic locations, breathtaking stunts, dastardly villains, futuristic technology, incredible women, stiff upper lips and bad Russian accents. And in the midst of it all, Bond. James Bond. Suave, sophisticated, sexy, dashing and dangerous. Hey, doesn't that look amazing? Named after Fleming's house in Jamaica, Goldeneye introduces the fifth man to step into Bond's polished, handmade shoes. Now, reinterpreted for the 90s, but still essentially 007. Bond is back. Yes, an Irishman playing a quintessential Englishman while being directed by a New Zealander. The man with the golden vision, the director of Goldeneye is New Zealander Martin Campbell, who hails from none other than Hastings, Hawke's Bay. That's you! And that tank basically does whatever it wants to later on in the show. Now, while a large part of Bond's life may be fantasy, some of the comforts he enjoys, the hotels, the casinos, the sports cars, could be within your reach. Because in conjunction with this evening's program, we have one of the most glamorous prizes ever to be offered in New Zealand. You are 008. 007 requires your assistance. Should you be chosen, your assignment is a wonderful evening at Hurrah's Sky City Casino. Then you wing your way to London, Switzerland and Monte Carlo, courtesy of American Express Travel, flying British Airways. To assist with debriefing, upon arrival back in New Zealand, you will be given 007's BMW Roadster to drive for six months. All you have to do to win this assignment is fill in the top secret dossier that will be printed in this weekend's Sunday Star Times. As 008, you will recognise 007 instantly because he looks devilishly like me. I mean, he is dark, he's a foot taller, he's very good looking, but apart from that, we could be twins. As you will see in this next GoldenEye clip when Bond yet again escapes by the shine of his new teeth. with Party Bingo. Bingo! Bingo! Imagine winning $10,000 just like that. Yeah, he's so lucky. <laughs> it's just the ticket for Christmas. Thanks to all the people who believe everyone deserves at least one special day in every year. And thanks to all the people who could spare a little money and did. Because thanks to all of you, New Zealanders who would otherwise have missed out, will now sit down on Christmas Day to a very special meal, Christmas dinner. And from them, we'd just like to say a very special thanks. Merry Christmas, everyone. If TV, if the TV was run by guests, wouldn't be very good. The sound would be all croaking, and it'd have the news on it. And it would be a black and white television. But the ones that we have are colourful. You can get them in black and white. And they run by electricity and you can get cartoons on them. These 
10 litre pails of Torben's paint. Don't do anything out of the ordinary until you buy one. And then you get $10 cash back. It's the Torben's lucky drop. Drop in and buy some. It's almost Christmas and there are still loads of wonderful gifts for all at Farmers. And the last minute gifts are amazing. Wyndham Men's Briefs, a great gift for him, and they're just $12.95 for a five pack. And these polo shirts only $12.95 or two for $22. And think of how special a watch would be for Christmas. There's up to 50% off on watches. It's the one place you can wrap up all your Christmas shopping with fantastic last minute gifts. It's Farmers, where the price is right. Lotto's $3 million Super Draw, 8 o'clock Saturday on TV2. of Margaret Mitchell's ageless masterpiece comes a holiday movie special. Sir, you are no gentleman. And you, miss, are no lady. Over two spectacular nights. You should be kissed and off by someone who knows how. Experience the majesty. I love you more than I've ever loved anyone. Of the greatest film of all time. What shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Gone with the Wind begins 7.30 Boxing Day on TV2. Everyone knows as Q, Desmond Llewellyn has appeared in every Bond movie except Live and Let Die and Dr. No. And as head of MI6's Armory Division, he gives the new Bond the secret technological edge he needs to be licensed to kill. Great, isn't he? Now, another aspect of the Bond movies is 007's miraculous escapes from certain death when captured. And you see, his enemy's egos are such that instead of just shooting him and being done with it, they leave him to die in spectacular circumstances, ripped to shreds by sharks, a bandsaw between the legs, and they do it just after revealing their master plan. But those kind of situations just bring out the very best in British intelligence. Monday on Shortland Street, the nightmare unfolds. There's been some kind of major accident at the clinic. Chris, I'm coming on Tuesday, OK? Christy? Where's Christy? The clinic struggles to cope. I need a portable oxygen tank and a mask. Quick, Will. Christy, can you hear me? I need some help over here. Pointing the finger of blame. Oh, the man who did this was a maniac. Come on, Rebecca. Hang in there. Lives are changed forever. Hey, has anyone told you about Laurie? What about him? Christy? Christy? Shortland Street, 7 o'clock Monday on 2. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Two super draws are coming to town. Get ready for two three million dollar super draws in a row. The first one's December 23rd. The second one's December 30th. So get tickets to both this week. You better watch out. You better not. It's got to be good for you. Oh, I hate it when that happens. With an expected top of way for 38 degrees, today is going to be a sizzle. Libra Ultra Thins are ultra soft, so you don't feel them. And ultra thin, so you don't see them. And because they're ultra reliable, you can do whatever you want. United Artists bring
brings you the return of Bond. James Bond. GoldenEye. Dear Santa, after carrying my new red bicycle all the way from the North Pole, you must be very hungry. But I've made you some scones. P.S. No bike. No scones. Look, it's the latest range of kitchen wonder knives. They're so sharp they make ordinary knives look stupid. They'll cut through tires, small meteorites, even the kitchen table. But do you need one to open up the new Canterbury Draft 12 can brick? No way. The new CD brick has a specially formulated can dispenser. Your CD cans just roll out like magic. But wait, there's more. The new CD brick is also so easy to carry thanks to the special carry hold. Look, one in each hand. Plus, a CD brick can add inches to your height. Use it to build up those abdominal muscles or speed up your step exercises. This brick is amazing. Have hours of fun with a new versatile CD brick available wherever Canterbury Draft is sold. Get yours today. And right now at all super liquor stores, you can buy a slab of two dozen Canterbury Draft or two one dozen Canterbury Draft bricks for only $29.90. Two great deals, too good to miss. Right now at super friendly super liquor. Shortland Street presents Timothy, sung by Suzanne Lynch, Katrina Devine and Megan Desmond. Only $4.99 and only available from the warehouse. Proceeds from the sale of this tape go to the Variety Club of New Zealand. Timothy, only $4.99, available now. Introducing Sybil. Ditsy oh, blonde. Duh. Struggling actress. Not just some kinky shower scene with a sleazy prison guard. Twice divorced. I have one ex-husband who works as a crash dummy and another who dates a woman. Two children. Aw, oh, Daddy, look at Mommy. One best friend. Isn't it depressing to know that no matter how hard you work out, you're still going to be a grandmother? At Sybil's age, she faces two choices. Things aren't where they used to be. Age gracefully. Come on, I want you to give me your honest opinion. Or stay 39 forever. When are you going to tell them that's a body double? When are you going to shut up? Sybil Shepard. Honey, trust me, when you wake up one morning and trip over your breast, you're going to want to put on something pretty. In the Emmy Award winning comedy sensation, Sybil, coming soon to two. On the top. Honour top? What sort of name is that? Mind you, I suppose if you're thinking politically correct, you're not thinking 007, are you? With names like Kissy Suzuki, Honey Rider, Plenty at All, Merry Goodnight and Pussy Galore. All of them at some stage have been targets for 007's rakish powers of seduction. Mm. 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 Hey? <laughs> Once a lady killer? Always a lady killer. Here's a look at some of the women that James Bond has taken, not spurned. Back at MI6 headquarters, Ms. Moneypenny calmly organises 007 for each assignment. Now, as you know, their relationship it crackles with sexual tension with Bond usually having that flirting advantage. But this is the 90s, and in Goldeneye, it's Ms. Moneypenny who seems to have the upper hand. From Ursula Andress to Britt Eklund, Bond girls, as they are traditionally known, have always been among the most beautiful and talented in the world. And Golden Eye is no exception. Yep, on the streets he's licensed to kill, between the sheets he's licensed to thrill. Now although M, the head of British intelligence, knows that Bond is MI6's best agent, he's always frowned upon Bond's cavalier ways and upper class manner. And this antagonistic relationship is further complicated in Golden Eye by the fact the first time ever M is a woman. Not that I'd have any problem taking orders from you people. I'd love to. You say so, I do it, happy to do it, because I'm very sensitive. Shut up, Simon. Now, for a woman even more formidable than M, a woman who with one glance could castrate any sexist, misogynistic dinosaur she wanted to. Chevy Chase has moved to the country ah! in time for some Christmas Eve comedy. Does the sheriff always ride around in a taxi? Yep, ever since he flunked his driving test. Settling in to the funny farm. Daddy! There's a coffin in the garden. Meeting up with new friends, bonding with nature, and enjoying the home cooking. Sheep balls. 
Tis the season to be friendly. That maniac is our mailman. Christmas Eve comedy on The Funny Farm. 8.25 Sunday on TV2. New Paradiso. Premium vanilla ice cream. Wrapped in a refreshingly tropical soft sorbet. Cool off in Paradiso. be good for you. Oh, I hate it when that happens. It's a beautiful day. Queen. The last chapter. Their breathtaking final album. If you're Christmas shopping this year, these are some of the shops you're likely to visit. But why, when all these shops are under the one roof, with the biggest range and the best value? Save time and money this Christmas. Get into Kmart. <laughs> Three long brew. There you go, mate. Tell me, Barman, why is it with this particular brew every glass tastes as good as the first? Yeah, well, I could answer that, mate, but it takes a bit long and I'm busy, so I've got this answer already prepared. You always get that glass beer, 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 with every glass of cold water. That's the thing it does for you, and you, and you, boo. Lion long beer is brewed longer than the rest, so all the sugar turns to alcohol, and you get that first beer feeling with every glass of cold long brew. You always get that glass Yeah, the blonde in the middle. What's her name? I don't know. Bruce, something, I think. <laughs> Say it. Jumanji. Play it. Jumanji. It's coming. Are you game? See it at a theatre near you. We'd just like to run through some scientific calculations proving why Q-Toll sunscreens are so effective. Perhaps you see, I can sum it up better, like this. Oh. They faced incredible odds and unbeatable enemies to earn the name Hero. But now there is a new way to spell action. Carlton Dial. Suave, charming and irresistible. Just said the magic words. Carlton Dial, a secret agent with his own set of rules. Trust me. Every minute could be his last. Every move must be his best. Let's go. Be prepared for new dangers, new moves and new heights of excitement. Of course I have a plan. I mean, doesn't it look like I've got a plan? No. Yeah, well then my plan's working. Experience the adventure, discover the intrigue, and live the romance. You know you ought to trust me. Fortune Hunter, the new series, coming very soon to TV2. In 007's line of work, you get to meet some pretty bad... Oh, excuse me, it's my drink. Now, that was stirred, not shaken. That uh, was a shandy. Sh shandy, yes, thank you, Shandy. Good, cheers. It's for my little sister, she's outside. As I was saying, in 007's line of work, you get to meet some pretty bad fellows, and the line between good and bad can become somewhat blurred. Robbie Coltrane's character, for instance, could turn out to be either. 
As a member of British intelligence, 007 goes head to head with some of the world's most brilliantly evil minds. Military strategists, international financiers, even a world renowned biologist. But in 95, the floppy disk is mightier than the sword and danger comes in strange packages. the 90s now and James Bond films they don't exploit women's bodies they exploit men's bodies so I'm a Bond boy really and I, I'm happy with that ah oh, well if he's happy then who are we to argue now Bond's preferred mode of transport is the sports car the flashy Aston Martin the Lotus or now the BMW but in a pinch he'll use a less conventional mode of transport like for example that tank you saw earlier Impact espionage thriller. You're entitled to know nothing. A wartime classic. I don't even know why the hell I'm here. Where eagles dare. Gentlemen, see you after the war. Richard Burton. Watch the skies. Clint Eastwood. Second rate punk. A perilous mission. We got company. Undertaken by elite commandos. Let's relax. TV2's Christmas night action adventure movie premiere. Where eagles dare. 815 Monday on TV2. a free bag of lollies with every $20 fuel purchase and be in to win one of 10 luxury trips for two worth $10,000. Summer just keeps on going at Mobile, the quick stop. This is the only place that I've got, so I'm going to take care of it. The trick is being smart about the sun. It's not always convenient to have a big sombrero. Up to 90% of all visible signs of aging can come from daily UV exposure. Oil of Ulan Daily UV Protectant Lotion, SPF Protection, Ulan Moisture, helps prevent premature skin aging now and in the future. It's not vanity. It is necessary. In 10 years, my face is going to thank me. A lifetime of youthful looking skin. Oil of Ulan Daily UV Protectant. If you're Christmas shopping this year, these are some of the shops you're likely to visit. But why, when all these shops are under the one roof, with the biggest range and the best value? Save time and money this Christmas. Get into Kmart. <laughs> Three long brew. There you go, mate. Tell me, Barman, why is it with this particular brew every glass tastes as good as the first? Yeah, well, I could answer that, mate, but it takes a bit long and I'm busy, so I've got this answer already prepared. You always get that glass beer, 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 with every glass of cold long beer. That's the thing it does for you, and you, and you, boo. Lion long beer is brewed longer than the rest, so all the sugar turns to alcohol, and you get that first beer feeling with every glass of cold long brew. You always get that glass Yeah, the blonde in the middle. What's her name? All right, Bruce. Something, I think. <laughs> Rum, bin, don't post it. Facts. The telecom facts 100 with one line, only 165 deposit, and the balance interest free over six months. Charge it to your telecom account. And here's a hot cordless phone deal. Our lowest price ever, only $96. New quality unit and quarters, only $96. Plus, you're in to win a cruise for two worth over $7,000. Ben Rumble Communications, top deals, top sales. Now, tonight we've shown you plenty of incredible stunts, but none more spectacular than the next. A bungee jump pushed to the extreme. Now, even though Pierce Brosnan likes to perform a lot of his own stunts, even he felt it was best to leave this one to a madman. Eat your heart out, Queenstown. Anything you can do, Bond can do better. And isn't that always the way? Now it's time for our Be Like Bond and Driver's Flash Car competition, and here's a look at what's up for grabs with your assignment. 
You and a companion will start with a glamorous evening at Hurrah's Sky City Casino. Then you'll wing your way to London, Switzerland and Monte Carlo, courtesy of American Express Travel Services flying British Airways. When you return, there's six months in the fast lane, sitting behind the wheel of the new BMW Roadster. And if you just miss out on the grand prize, there's GoldenEye movie passes, T-shirts and Tina Turner theme song CDs to be won. All you have to do is fill in the top secret dossier printed in this Sunday's issue of the Sunday Star Times. Now for the final clip tonight, a mixture of spectacular scenes from GoldenEye and from past Bond adventures. Has to be said, 007 is license to kill. And with those immortal words, GoldenEye, the making of a new James Bond comes to an end. My work here is done and I must dash for I have glamorous places to go and famous people to impress. And my mum's roof needs painting, so I'll leave you with the theme song to Goldeneye as sung by the world's sexiest nana, Tina Turner. Ah, thank you, Paul, my very good man. Even James Bond's budget's been cut in the 90s. It's not right. See reflection. Goldeneye, the making of a new James Bond, was brought to you by United International Pictures. From the pages of Margaret Mitchell's Ageless Masterpiece.